Hello learners, how are you? So we are going to solve problem number 35 from mentor logic section. So we of the figures numbered from 1 to 5. So these are the 5 figures. Correctly replaces the box containing the question mark. Okay. So the box containing the question mark is here. We have to find out or we have to replace this box by the correct object from these five. At this moment, I like to say you take a challenge. Pause my video and try yourself. If you can do it, that's fine. That's the right way to solve the problem. And if you cannot, then proceed with my video because if you just see the how I solve it without trying yourself that's actually killing your creativity so let's start now I hope you solve it if you not it's completely okay let's learn together so this is our problem you have to find out the answer or correct object from 1 to 5 so we can number uh, the objects like this one is first this one is second third and fourth object we have to find out you can consider it with a series so if we look number one and three it contain uh, these two boxes contains uh, contain triangles therefore we can say number two and four would be a square Moreover, in the options, we can't see any triangle. Therefore, it's it also confirms that right answer would be from a squares, not from the hexagonal or from the triangle. Although triangle is not here, but just for saying. Okay, let's find out which correct square is fit for this position. Okay, so we can see some numbers on the vertices or on the top of the triangle and squares. Okay, and some numbers are just outside the side or outside the object. For example, here 9, here 6, and 3. Okay, so some numbers are inside. These three also included them. Here are 8, here are 6 and 3 and 9, all are inside the object. How about considering numbers which are outside the objects are positive and inside the objects are negative. So, uh, le for example, let's consider this 15 is positive and this 3 is negative. Here this 8 is negative and others or oh, this 4 also negative and others are positive. For these options, these three numbers negative 6, negative 3 and negative 9 and other 3 represents positive value. Let's see, uh, let's find out the relation between the numbers that may help us to find out the correct answer. So for the first object, if we look on plus 15 on the, uh, the value on the top, we can find them plus uh, 9 plus 6. So the side adjacent with the vertices, we have to consider. So in this case, we consider the two sides 9 and 6 are the value just outside the side which represents positive value. In case of 6, we have to consider these two values because these two values are uh, the two sides are adjacent with the vertex, uh, this one. So simply we can get 9 minus 3 that gives us 6. So 3 we can get similar way. Let's check squares. Here 28. So if we take a look, 28 we can find 12 plus 16. Then 4 
we can find 12 negative 8 similar way here negative 4 we can find simply considering these two value minus 8 is positive and 4 is positive therefore final output is negative 4 which is written inside the top or vertices similarly minus 9 if we consider the object or triangle of third box who is actually summation algebraic summation of negative 3 and negative 6 and same applies for other numbers as well plus 3 and 6 so we find uh, we found the logic or relation between the numbers now it's really easy to find out the answer so for first options we can see a number 80 but here 144 is negative and 4 is positive so on number on the vertex should be according to our relation minus on 40 but it's 80 therefore this object 1 cannot be our answer so we just we just cross out it take a look on option 2 we can see here this 12 is negative and we can find 12 out of algebraic sum of negative 16 and 4 this 4 is positive we can find them by considering this 2 value this 4 is negative we can find them considering negative 16 and positive 12 so this applies for 4 as well so therefore our answer is 2 so this is the correct answer i hope you understood if you still have any confusion please let me know please write on the comment section and i will answer you so have a good time thank you all